Hey guys, in one of my YouTube polls, I asked, what is your photography dream? 64% of you said you'd like to quit your day job and travel the world taking photos. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how I quit my day job and how I am traveling the world taking photos. This is not one of my usual gear review videos, but stay with me. Hopefully you'll find it inspiring and hopefully you can relate it to your own lifestyle. I've also written an ebook so you can do exactly the same as me and follow the same steps that I did. More on that as we get into the video. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLiker.com. So yes, this video is going to talk about me quitting my corporate career, giving up a regular salary to follow my dream, my passion for photography. I really appreciate it if you take a second to just stop and smash the like button and hopefully I can get this video to a wider audience and hopefully inspire more fellow photographers. Okay, first, let's step back 30 years to when I was only 14 years old. I'm the eldest of four children. I'm the least academic. I've always been a massive introvert and so I spent my time painting and that was my creative outlet at the time. Watercolours and later on acrylic painting, fine detail, uh, Warhammer miniature painting, if any of you know what that is. I had yet to discover photography. Age 18, I didn't think there was any job prospects following art, so instead I did science. I did a BSc Honours degree at Nottingham University in science. Wasn't very useful. So when I graduated, I did temping jobs and I started doing stockbroking for Charles Schwab in Birmingham as a stockbroker back office. It wasn't until the dot-com bubble burst when they sacked all the temps and the stock market went through the floor. And then found myself doing call center jobs, but I wanted to get back to finance. One of my bosses at the time recommended that I studied finance. So I spent the next eight years working full-time and studying part-time to attain my ACCA qualification, which is the Association for Certified Charters Accountants, so I could then work in accountant positions. Positions. I joined an American manufacturing company and that corporate job was first in the UK and then from there I went on to be a senior auditor covering our facilities in both Europe and India. During that time one of my ex-girlfriends bought me a cheap Lumix camera for Christmas one year and that started off my passion and obsession for photography. So if you've ever wondered why I photograph female models in Poland and Hungary and Ukraine, it's because we used to have facilities in these countries and I discovered the girls in these countries when I was out there doing my corporate day job. I'd start asking the, the girls in the office and in the hotels, can I take your picture? And that's how I taught myself model photography. A typical week was getting up maybe 3.30 on a Monday morning, getting the six o'clock flight from Birmingham, often via Amsterdam. I needed to make use of all this time sitting in these business lounges. So this is when I founded the MrLiker.com blog. By that time I discovered Leica and it was a perfect small camera to take with me. By my early 40s I was getting more and more into my photography, I was doing more teaching, I was still blogging and then someone suggested I should start YouTube which I'd been avoiding for about the last five years because I couldn't think of anything worse than trying to sit in front of a camera. The reason I'm making this video is because partly people keep asking me and then I was trying to then make YouTube videos and work a full-time job. And when you start YouTube, for any of you that don't know, life pretty much stops. So when the COVID came around, we suddenly got asked to work from home. And that saved me around three hours per each day. Within those three hours, I then went all in on photography. I did 10 videos in 10 days. And that was the start of me picking up YouTube, kind of get going at it more seriously. I would do YouTube before work. I do YouTube on my lunch break in the evenings and also at weekends. Every month I was getting slightly more money coming in from both YouTube ads, WordPress ads, affiliate links, Lightroom presets that I sell and my awesome patrons that support me. Once it got to I think 2021 I was making enough money each month from my photography to live on to cover all my basic costs. So my goal was if I could do that for 12 months then maybe it would be safe to jump ship, quit my whole career and go full-time on photography. And the first day back into the office on the 4th of January, 2022, my birthday, my boss calls me in and said, Matt, sit down. I'm like, oh no, what's happened? And he's like, we need you to head up a project for the next 18 months. You're gonna be traveling and you're gonna be like the, the lead for, for this project. And I just thought to myself, there's no way I want to be in this job for the next 18 months. So I said, boss i'm really sorry i'm gonna to have to give my notice and so on my 44th birthday i retired from my finance career i cancelled my acca letters which basically means there's no going back it's like cutting your bridges and since then i've been a full-time youtuber i made a book so hopefully you can replicate my methods so you can then give up your day job how to make money with photography 
is going to cover 25 ways of making money with your photography, the five identifiable steps of when to quit your day job, and when it's safe to do so, costs involved, how to save money so you can quit sooner, and in summary, how to make your side hustle your main day job. My new ebook is available today, a link in the description, for a limited introductory price of only £9.99. Grab a cheap copy while you can. I'd like to think you'd be able to make your money back from just reading the Making Money With Your Cameras chapter. So hopefully it's, it's a no-brainer. The information in the book is not rocket science, but the key is it gives you the structure I followed to be able to do the same as me, quit your job, and then enjoy whatever your passion is. The cheaper you can live, the less money you need to make before quitting your day job. So if your monthly expenses are, say, $3,000 per month currently, you need to make $3,000 per month with photography or your side hustle before you can quit your day job. If, however, you only spend £1,000 per month, you only need to make £1,000 per month before quitting your day job. So by having a lower monthly cost, you can quit your job much, much sooner. My next goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe if you've not already done so. It'll really help me out. My next ebook is Everything You Need to Know Guide to Model of Photography or Portraiture. So in summary, I'm definitely not the smartest cookie. I've always struggled academically throughout my life. But 44 years later, I finally found my dream job. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it. If you found this video inspiring, please, please smash the like button, share it with your friends, and hopefully more people can escape the day job that they don't enjoy. Click the link below to get my new book. And as always, a massive, massive thanks to my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Thanks for watching if you lasted till the end and see you all in the next video. Cheers. It's actually cold tea. I'm not much of an alcohol drinker. <laughs>